Still alive and direct with your boy Boss More Ben, and this is what you call that federal prison laundry, man. You feel me? We got the we got the revamp cable cord empty. We use it for the bird bath too. We got that putting into the sink. You feel me? And yeah, since it's not a long one, ooh, that thing's squirting. But since it's not a long one, you know I gotta uh, I gotta use basically. Okay, look, this is what we're doing too. We put that soap in that thing. You see that? Okay, put that soap in that thing. Good amount of it. Yeah, I'll be soaking mine up. I don't know about it. Like this is what it's coming with. This is what the government giving us. They could, we could buy this off the government. Buy more exclusive stuff. You know, for the package. But the government going to let you get this every time, though. Hold on a second. I'm hearing something. I don't know. What do we get? Okay, I wasn't just hearing something. Something was going on, but yeah. So look, that's where we go with uh with that. You know what I'm saying? Just want to get him up in there, all of it. You feel me? Just get him up in there real quick. I got some shirts, some socks. I do my boxers separately though. I don't never, I don't never do my boxers with uh, everything else. My boxers I wash with just soap, just straight scrubbing and things. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I ain't no. For the mixed in old dusty boxers with some I'm gonna put them on chest, you know what I'm saying? But I scrub them things up, they be clean too. You see as look, so as as this go, the way this go, let me put this right here. Alright, yeah, so y'all can see. Bam, y'all see that? Alright, look. I make sure I'll be adding that I'll be adding the smell goods to it. It's some little stuff you got the package of Burberry for me. Be adding the smell goods to it for sure. I don't know why. You don't want that little stuff they selling us? That little stuff they selling us is not exclusive enough. Not for no, not for no dude like me. It just ain't exclusive enough. See, it's, it's how you doing it though. Like right here, this is what it is. Really, you just pulling up. It's take a little minute. It's take a little minute to load up for sure. Just the bucking. I'm about to bend over. Like I'm not gonna show y'all how I really get though, cause it really, it really get away. That's starting to smell good, but I don't put that Burberry from Men's in here. So what you do is, I'm gonna fill this up, and then I'm gonna do like a little mix session. After I'm done with the video, I'm gonna do a little mix session to make sure that every, all the soap is mixed in and everything. Then I'm gonna let it sit overnight, you know what I mean? That's what you, you let it sit overnight real quick. And uh, in the morning, hit it with like three rinses. So I, I, some, I ain't gonna catch, sometimes I just rinse item after item. I'm real, uh, I'm not really an OCD having person, but I'm real like particular about how I do things. Sometimes when I was younger, I didn't like to do a lot of stuff because whenever I commit myself to doing it, I can't halfway do nothing. I can't halfway do nothing, so I gotta, I gotta really take it all the way there. So, you know, when my laundry get done, it be clean and smell good. It don't got no real soap residue on it, none of that. Like I'm, I'm rinsing mine still water clear. People are like, why are you still rinsing that? But the water not clear, I'm still rinsing that. I'm just, that's just me though. Everybody don't do that, but just personally me, I feel like that's just how I was, how I'm supposed to do it. I don't know. It's my little personal OCD though. But like I said, I'm not really no OCD person to wear like everything, but if I commit myself to doing a task, I'm about to do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? See, this is this is the process. It just sit here and y'all y'all hear me like the the water only pour for like ten seconds. So it's like every ten seconds or so, maybe less than ten seconds, but every ten seconds or so, I gotta press the button again, you know? Till till it's full type type situation, you know what I'm saying? But Man, yeah, you know, I'm just chilling, y'all. I really just wanted to come through and tell y'all I've been good, ask y'all how y'all been. Hopefully y'all been doing good. I'm about to get this food, you know, this next week. I'm about to have this food, y'all. And it's, uh, y'all been looking out. Thank you for all the donations. I'm gonna make sure that I get some food, you know. Uh, more than usual, you know what I'm saying? I got this package coming. So it's a lot of little content coming up, y'all. Like I said, I'm gonna do my best to go on a 30-day run with y'all. A full 30-day run. Probably gonna try to invest in another grill so that we could have the two grills and we could really be able to really cook it up. The two grills is definitely a, a necessity too when you really cooking like that. But like one grill just takes it just everything takes forever when you cook on one grill. You got two grills though, it's it's just it's much more speedy. And it just you know, the food the food gets cooked done quicker, you get to eat faster. You know, the content probably gonna be easier to make everything. The whole situation gonna be easier to deal with, you know what I'm saying? So but everything is going good with me, man. 
everything been going good. I've been staying positive, staying out the way, trying to make it home for real. You gotta be this is this how you do this, man. It's probably feel like an old lady. I like over the sink, man. Just like And it's another thing too, like I done heard a lot of people I done heard a lot of people talking about how they they uh do the laundry in their toilet. Y'all heard of that? In prison, they doing the laundry in the toilet. Y'all heard of that? I don't, man, listen. I don't know what's up with that. It just seemed like it's going to be a bunch of booty doing on my clothes, though, and I ain't for it. I ain't never did it. But I know a lot of people that do, and they be like, nah, but the toilet's cleaning it. I mean, that's how they get, get down. I can't, I can't say nothing about it. I just know that's not what I'm doing. I ain't coming like that. I ain't coming like that, man. Not me. I'm paranoid. I think that my I think that my clothes gonna have booty doing forever. I'm not throwing clothes away. If I ever do some stuff like that, I'm throwing the clothes away. I ain't even but first of all, I ain't doing it. So it's like you can't if I ever. I ain't never gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, but yeah, that's something that, that, that people do too. But me personally, I'm with the bucket and I'm with the sink. That's it. Me and me and my bucket and my sink, we're gonna get this laundry did. And if you don't do laundry consistently, it'll pile up on you. I'm here for years. Being in here just not having the right structure, I would have like probably like I would have a like a, a 10, 12 items of clothes that I would just continuously wash, and I had a bucket full of dirty stuff because I had just let it just pile up. So I was it never I was always washing just to catch up to that those items. But now I got a bucket full of clean stuff, not a bucket a bin, a bin full of clean stuff, a shelf full of clean stuff, and I just be cleaning what gets dirty. Yeah, you know, but you got to do this consistently. It's multiple times a week. You got to do laundry. You gotta get at it, and uh, like I said, your boxers. You gotta me personally do them separately. A lot of people do it doing it in the shower, but like I said, I can't. You know, we trying to take quick showers. I can't afford to be in there and halfway washing my boxers and just hanging them up. No, that's out. I'm not gonna halfway do nothing. Nothing in my life is getting halfway done, man. I'm doing everything diligently and 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 as seriously as I possibly can. And, you know, that's how my mama raised me. That's how my pops raised me. I was raised like that. Everything I do, I do it as good as I can do it. And, you know, the bad part about me growing up, though, was because I knew that if I was going to do something, I had to do it right. So a lot of the times, I wouldn't do nothing. I'm like, Man, I ain't doing nothing. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't halfway do it. So I just ain't doing nothing. I ain't even going to start. And that's not good. So I've been working on now having enough structure in my life to where you know, I just do it. I just do it. I don't care. And, and, and it's something I read in the book. It's eat the frog, man. You got to eat the frog. You got to wake up and do the hardest thing. And when you when you wake up and do the hardest thing or when you wake up and do the stuff you know you, know you got to do, you just feel better. Your, your environment look better. But on top of that, you feel better about yourself. Like, you know that you're doing what you're supposed to do. You feel better about yourself. When you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you don't ever feel good about yourself. It's like, bruh. You just you, you just sitting there like sad, depressed, you don't even know why. Well, look, all that stuff that you told yourself you was going to do, you ain't do it. That's why you're depressed. That video game blocking your, blocking your mentality, man. Or that female you chasing, or that man you chasing even. You know what I'm saying? Or you ain't take that run that you were supposed to take. You ain't show up to that gym not one time. You know, you ain't even clean up the house. You ain't even start writing in your journal. You know what I'm saying? And you wrote in your journal last month, but you ain't even checked it out. How many goals did you accomplish out of them goals you wrote down last month? You don't know. You know, because you ain't even go cross them off. You know, that's 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 the greatest thing about writing goals to me, is being able to look at these goals and be like, cross off, cross off, cross, you know what I'm saying? I'm crossing, I'm checking them off the list. I've been accomplishing stuff. That's the best feeling. That's the best feeling you could get. And so, yeah, this is it's how you do this, man. It's how you do this. I, I don't recommend anybody come to prison. Because uh, it's dryers and washers out there. Even if you got to go to the laundromat, the laundromat better than this. It's dryers and washers out there, yo. Real life to where you could just pull up, put a little couple of dollars in that thing, and then sit around. This is not, this ain't that. This is not that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to do, you have to do you some work. <laughs> and then after, I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to show y'all what you got to do after. What you got to do after because uh, that's also big part of it too you know we we like we in the 80s we, we we got the lines up we like we in the 80s with the lines up you know so yeah there, there go full buggy and so what i'm gonna do and i can't really do it right now but because i gotta dip in there and i'm not gonna 
dip in there and right this second so I can't do it but what, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end up dipping in there like well I just showed y'all mixing it up getting getting in there like good getting in there you know what I'm saying <laughs> but look let me show y'all what they real quick let me show y'all something real quick man and this is where it ends up at when you're done with it that's just another load I just finished right now that's where it ends up at so that's, that's drying some sweaters shirts drying and then you know we're coming back over here to you know some more shirts some socks and uh yeah i think there's shirts and socks in here that's all but you know what i'm saying this is the process of doing your laundry it get in there you gotta once i mix it the soap will start coming out because it's in there the soap is in there but you know shirts and socks in here like i said i'm gonna, I'm gonna get it real mixed up after i get it mixed up let it sit for the night and then tomorrow I got to ring it out, put it up there. But this is the process that you're going to be going through. And I wish I could really just be in there showing y'all. But, yeah, you know, discretion is an obsession, man. I'm just trying to stay free, you feel me? <laughs> or get free as soon as possible. But, yeah, we're going to holler, y'all. It's all love from your boy Baltimore. I'll see y'all later.